I don't know about you, but I have spent way too many hours in my career, wasted cleaning data, removing LLC from a company name, splitting a full name into just first and last name and many other things. So I wanted to show you how this can be easily done in Clay and all for free. Uh, the only thing that we are using is uh, AI, uh, the OpenAI API for just two of these here. But if you just wanted to clean the company name to remove LLC or Inc, or maybe take it from all capitalized, capitalized to just sentence case, if you wanted to split a full name into just the first name, you can do that for free as well. And also if you want to clean an email from, uh, sometimes when you export emails, you get weird characters that come in. So if you just want that clean email showing so that you can import that into your sequence software, I can also, also show you how to do that. So let's get through the first few. So these are all the free ones without using any credits, whether that be clay credits or any open AI credits. So first of all, we've got a new row and let's just say I'm importing and doing this on mass. But in this example, I'm just doing it one by one. So we're reaching out to Gong. Um, obviously it says Gong LLC. If we put that in an email, it'd be very obvious. So now straight away, that's normalized it to just Gong. Easy peasy. So then we go on to the next one, which is taking the full name and then just giving me the first name only. Again, when you insert a merge field, you wouldn't want to say, hi, Mark Colgan in the email, because that'll look like it's part of an automated sequence, which you want to avoid. So we have Mark here as well. The next one is, let's say that we've got an email from a list. I actually received a list of uh, 2000 emails that had all these weird characters and um, some of them had brackets, some of them had commas, and I just needed the email address. So I'm going to hit enter here. And what this is going to do automatically is clean that email and just output the only bit of information that we need to import that email into the uh, into the sequence, which is mark at yellowo.co.uk. No special characters or anything else. The next two um, are, again, used for your sequences. But the first one that we're going to look at is sometimes when their job title is HR, uh, head of HR or head of people, you don't want to say in your email, hi, Jane, I see that you are head of HR or head of people. Um, or you're a group recruitment director. Sometimes it's better to mention the function that they work in and what we can do with using OpenAI's API with Clay, we can get it to, to give, that, give us that summary. So for the example here, I'm gonna put in head of brand experience and then let's see what uh, the AI tells us that which department that is. So it's queuing up now and it should come up with marketing, I believe. It could come up with brand as well. But let's, uh, let's move on whilst that one's working. The next one here is emojis. Also uh, more common recently is the fact that people put their pronouns in, the, um, in LinkedIn and their headline and their name. So obviously we don't want to send an email where we have the pronouns or when we have any emojis as well. So this is using AI again to clean that full name. So I'm gonna hit enter here and it's hopefully gonna remove the Portugal flag. Um, and now it gives me the clean full name here. So going back to this one, head of brand experience. So brand experience is still okay. It's better than saying a head of brand experience in my opinion, because all the things that we're doing here is trying to make it not look like we are not automating and putting these people in a, in a large sequence. So three, very, three, three free ways to format data in Clay, and then two ways to also format data uh, using OpenAI. I'm gonna share the template for you. I find it much better to reverse engineer how things have worked. So when you get the template, you can always just go job department and edit the column, and you can see the prompt here, and you can change that and make it your own. But um, hopefully that helps. Like I said, I've spent way too many hours of my career doing this sort of data cleansing, and now it can pretty much be done in an automated way with Clay. All right, take care. Bye-bye.